Hi again! Here is our little rabbit. There is still a little bit of paper on. You can see the milky uh, shiny paper. So we have to take that off. It's only visible when you let your object dry. Um, sometimes you think, oh, I have washed it all off and it, it seems good when it's wet. And then when it's dry, you suddenly see the white spots. You can see it very well like this. So we can take a little bit more away. You also see some nice structures all over and that's because we have put a thicker layer of power decks, a thin layer, thicker layer that gives a, a, a different thickness and that shows off now in uh, the power print. So let's just work a little bit further on this little rabbit. We're gonna add a little bit of water again. Just start all over. Sometimes you can just use your nail to get more paper off. Don't be afraid to, to uh, put a little bit more pressure on it. Gonna be okay. You also feel it on your uh, fingertips. You can feel it really well if there is still paper and you see it comes off on this side. Use my nail again. There might have been a little bit of power print on the back side and that's why it's hard to remove this part of the paper. But anyway, let's go a little bit faster and here you you can see that it comes off. Let's use the sponge. I don't mind taking away too much paper. Here I have been a little bit rough and hard, but that's good to show that you don't have to be afraid when that happens, because we will add a few layers anyway. So, in another video, I explained a little bit the difference in EasyCoat Matte, EasyCoat Glossy and the Power Print. For, for this little rabbit, I'm pretty convinced that it's better to apply another layer of Power Print just to get rid of the paper that's remaining and um, we will protect the image. We can put the power print all over, it will take away the milky effect and it will uh, protect uh, the center of the print. So I'm gonna dry my brush and take a little bit of the power print. I pour it out, make sure that most of the paper has gone. It's not dry, but still I can uh, bring a layer of power print on top of it. It will dry together, that's no problem. So here we do the same thing. Horizontal vertical to make sure that we have the power print all over. And 
before we go any further we have to let this layer dry it must be really dry before we go on then we see what happens and um, we can see where we're going So you see, I have put a very thin layer. Okay. That's it for now. Then we have to wait and let it dry. See you next time. Bye bye.